Today we're talking about energy can move through matter. And you gotta think geometry. Think in terms of a particle, it has a way it's moving, and you gotta think of matter is it has spaces that the particles can go through. So you gotta think two ways on this. Now, if you imagine like an arrow, and you had a little donut over there, and you shot it, and the arrow went through the little donut hole, that's what you, what you get to think about this. Like for example, we're going to take energies here, show you how they work. This one here, flashlight. Got a jar full of water. If I turn the flashlight on, you can see the light. It will move through the air. That means there's a space in the air. It'll move through the water. That means there's spaces that light can move through the water. And also this glass jar. So there are spaces in the matter that the energy can move through. You've got to think of light moving forward. Now, another energy, sound. They've always told you that's just a compression wave. Nope, got to think different. So you got to think there's a particle causing the compression wave. Now, when I'm talking, the uh, sound will go through the air. I hold a piece of paper up in front of me, and I talk, the sound will go through the paper. So you got to think a little different on sound. It's got a, a, a corkscrew and a, a circular movement to it that causes it to do what it is. For example, if I were talking in the water, sound would travel twice as fast in the water than it does in the air. There's a reason for it. we got a section on sound. We'll explain that. Now, another one. This is a pair of scales. you got to think in terms of gravity not being a force that pulls. When I step on the scales, it tells me what I weigh. But you got to think a little different. you got to think a particle. There's particles going to the center of the earth. They're coming from way in out, deep in outer space. As they come down and they go through me, they go onto the earth. So energy can move through matter. Now they move through the air. They move through a solid. Now if I had a, a ton of uh, a glass of cream and water over there, it will move through a liquid as well as a solid, liquid, or a gas. But you got to think in terms of particles moving. Another one, magnets. This is just a ping pong paddle. Got a couple of magnets here. If you can listen, the two magnets will stick together. If you turn them around, go opposite, they push each other apart. But whenever you have to think about this, what they're doing is, is they have energy. You got to think it's moving in a circular pattern here. And that energy is moving through a solid. It'll move through a gas. And if there was a liquid in between this, the magnets would still work in between in the liquid. So you got to think in terms of particles moving through matter. There's a space, there's a size, there's geometry to it. Another one, this is just a fan. Turn it on, plug into the wall. So what happened there? There's electricity. Once I turn the fan on, the electricity comes through a copper wire. So electricity can move through a solid. We've got to think in terms of a uh, particle that's moving. Now, if we had uh, water, hook electricity up to it, have a salt in it, it can go through uh, water as well. Lightning is an example, but energy now, electricity, can move through matter. So that's what you've got to think about on energy. Energy can move through matter. There's energy behind all the, quote, forces in nature. Physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.